everyone. I have my favorite guy of the day. And Not girl. of the day. And girl. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have my favorite guy. Well, maybe after Tarrant. Mausa and Joyce back. Hey. Hello. Hi, everyone. I'm Stella from Mibble University. And welcome to my vlog and unpunching board games. And we have the star today, which. <laughs> Yeah, it is Mal. So Mal, so Joy is back. You might have seen Joy. We used to do live play yeah. through, uh, almost every week. Yeah, we and, did. And uh, Joy has been pretty busy, and this is why. This is so worth it. I've been a bit MIA, but yes. um, now this is the reason why, and we've decided that he might join us. Yes. Today. So we got invited. So thank you, Stella. Thanks. Well, thank you for coming. And Mal is going to help us with doing some unpunching in board games, and today we have. Ooh fit to print, which I had picked, I have unsleeved it, and then terraforming Mars to dice game. And we are trying to, are you trying to get Miles to play board games early? Yeah, I'm trying. Uh, yeah. I mean, um, we he can roll some dice. Oh, oh yes, yes. That was proven. We've yes. done that before in one of the board game days. And I think it's just getting him familiar with some components. Um, you know, I guess you start them early. Mm. And yes. that's good, because then he'll, he'll, he'll be our <laughs> He'll be our third player or our fifth Let player when we catch up with um, <gasps> Taryn and Stella. Yeah. So oh, what's nice. that in there, there? So <laughs> He's very, very curious. He's so. very curious. The third people. It's been a good boy, right? Like, yeah, he's pretty good. I think, I think so. I mean, I always say, like, Mal's been great. And then Joy is like, most time. Great. <laughs> <laughs> but you know how it is. So Mal's is one year old and a month, almost a month. Yes, yes. yes. And he's been just the center of attention. So well, I'm so glad that I've finally been able to introduce Miles. Oh, mm, yeah, and very curious. Yeah, Stella's been a really, really good auntie to, to Miles. So I'm really hoping that he can, you know, get that enthusiasm and passion for board games from her. Also to you. So I'm yeah. gonna um, also. <gasps> what is this? Oh my, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Ta da! <laughs> Apparently, Miles. I'm Miles' favorite auntie, Look. according to my t-shirt. Look, Miles, who's that? It's your your face mouth. Ooh. <laughs> it's like, this is forced. It's like, not with Miles' permission, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Let's uh, let's continue chatting. Miles, you can probably help us with unpunching um, this as well. Or punching. Unpunching. Punching. It's called. Is it what they say? Punching. Unpunching. Unpunching. Okay. There you go. So, Fit to Print. Now, Fit to Print is a new game by... Flat Out Games. Well, there's a few new games. This is one of the new games by Flat Out Games and AEG, okay. uh, who has sent us the game. And this is what's inside. Uh, look at this. So this is a. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Here you go. Here you go. Oh. Look! 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 Miles is very interesting <laughs> in the car. That's a good sign, Joy. Yes. <laughs> you've um, you know, you've done well here. And not okay. interested anymore? Not interested anymore. That's okay. So uh, there's a real-time element to it where you need to put all the publishing newspaper on your board. Where is the board? I can't seem to find the board. Ah, uh, the there. newspaper. Here it is. Yeah. So I just put stuff on your board quickly and then score points. Nice. Oh, I, yeah. I, there's a lot of tiles here. I love tile placement. Oh, games. yes, yeah. yes. Miles, look, tile placement. Oh, well, he's interested in his own face. That's okay. <laughs> oh, okay. look at this. All right, so we are unpacking lots of lots of good-looking tiles here. Uh, price collection appraised. And I know that... Mm -hmm. Look, 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 it's like... Oh! It's <laughs> groping me, Mouse. <laughs> so there's good news and there's bad news, yes, yes. I think. And, what, and with every, you know, ad or adver um, newspaper or media, there's always going to be ads, right? Yep. What is this? Obsession with my t shirt now, it's my fault. Yeah, Number thank two. you, thank you, thank you. But I was like, I was so distracted with Mouse, but you know, it's like somebody thank that you. is this cute. Mouse is such a pop, cute pop, 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 pop. pop. So Mouse can play with this, yeah. Mouse can play with that one. So, there you go, he can stick in his mouth. <laughs> yes. And... yes, yes, we are, uh, we want to be responsible adults as well, of course. So, yeah, he's um, he's more interested in the um, in, in my t shirt, which is good. So all of these components are really cute. At uh, first I saw this, I think it was Gen Con last year, so 2022 Gen Con, okay. they had the demo version. <laughs> and this game um, is designed by Peter McPherson, who designed lots of, lots of games, including Tiny Town. 
Tiny town. Yes. Yes. Hang on. I was like, there's a lot of like this small and tiny. So this is tiny. <laughs> there's like city building in town, tiny town. Yeah. Like, look. <laughs> <laughs> it's like there's two of me. Yeah, there's a two of me. It's like it's like so impressed. Look, what is this? Who's this? Do you recognize who this is? My favorite auntie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mouse. Oh, I we we made a mess now at the <laughs> at the moment, but that's okay. Do you want do you want this t-shirt? Do you want to wear this t-shirt? Maybe I should make one for him. Miles gets along really well with um Auntie Stella. <laughs> yeah. I feel. Well, Miles is friendly baby. I think he's. He's getting along with everyone, from not, what I see. Not, not everyone. Well, not everyone gets along well with him. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are probably shy, a bit shy away from um, babies, cute babies. But that's okay. That's right, Miles. Um, so, Joy, would you play this game with me one day, maybe? Yes. Yeah. I would. I, I mean, I love tile placement games. I know. I love. I mean, I, I was looking at this, and it was kind of like had that little Tetrisy feel. Yeah. And it had a little yeah, bit about yeah, yeah. the my shelfy feel. Yeah, yeah. Like, so tell me, what's your favorite tile placement game? Favorite tile placement game. Hmm. Ah. I reckon. Mm. I mean, at the moment, I mean, the classic one is um, Alhambra. I mean, Alhambra. Oh, yeah, script. it's been a while, isn't it? And it's been, been a while. I've been it was published. But, but I've been, but I play a lot of it on um on BGA. Oh yeah, BGA yeah. is great. So I've been playing games with you. I'm in the middle of playing Maps of Myster Mystera with yep. you. I had no idea what's going on in there. I had yeah. to, I had to watch. I had to wait until the game actually arrived. I've got the game from mm. Essen. It's not arrived yet. Oh, Foot Loops. Mm. You wanna give Auntie Stella one? Please, please, Auntie Stella. <laughs> he can do it. It's just depending. He's probably surveying if he's got enough to share. No. Nope. <laughs> 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 you can give one to this smile. So <laughs> Here you go. No. That's okay. Yeah, okay. You can be self. It's that's okay. I don't need it um, anyway. Yes, maps of mysteria. That's yes. that's a bit popular at the moment. A bit popular. Okay. Good. 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 On DGA. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Um, it's yes, fairly I'm, new. Mm. Yeah. So it it I think it was it might be released around Essen. Yeah. So yeah, it is pretty new. Um, I've been hooked with tabletop arena these days, and like now, I've subscribed <laughs> to it, and so I can play with Heron online as well in yeah. between stuff. It's like. BGA. BGA. Or tabletop arena. Oh, sorry. Or both. BGA. <laughs> what is tabletop arena? Is it the same board game arena? Board, board game, game arena. arena. What is tabletop top arena? Tabletop simulator. That's it. It's yeah. like you mashed, mashed up. What is so this? <laughs> so, so messy. Was I That's supposed to do this in some kind of order? No. <laughs> I don't know yet. Uh, all right. Let's take this mouse and then let's give you um, board game component. Yeah. That's been punched out. <laughs> 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 His favorite. His favorite. And look at these cards, right? Um, this is like so thematic of. Oh, here we go. This is a, this is a better version. I was like, ah, oh, it's just dates. But oh, this is um, this is the character that's in the game. So. Um, yep, yep, yep. Very good mouse. The, uh, these are the cards, and these are the components. I haven't actually any um, method yet of. How I'm gonna separate this, but I'm just gonna probably like put this one here for now. This would be the scoring mm. sheet. Mm -hmm. Oh, more food for you. Mm. Give me some. Mm. I no, no, that's okay. You're going to share one day. Would you like us to separate it in the ads and the newspapers, or just chuck everything in the box? Let's separate. What we can. Then, I guess in the rule book. Yeah. Nice rule book. Nice thick rule book. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of variants. Oh, and, and scenarios. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah. like games with like scenarios. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Oh. So we can probably like roughly separate it. It doesn't have to be super sure. Yeah. Whatever. The one that looks or colored the same and then be without knowing how it plays really. Because once we play it and then we separate it again, 
Yeah, per you're really good at separating components in board games to make it very easy to and so do play you. again. It's so do you. I like... really like it. No, but we we got it off you. I remember yeah. the one in the oh, first time. Yeah, like yeah. Seller and Tarot mm. will like separate all the starting components per play in a bag, yeah. which like yeah. saves so much time. <laughs> I think that's. I think I've seen somebody else did that, and then <laughs> since then I was like, oh, this is great. I'm gonna just do it, so it's easier. I have to just tell Taryn, after filming, yeah. Taryn would usually pack things up and then he's not always put it where I want it to, <laughs> to go. <laughs> but that's okay. I mean, Taryn. I mean, how long will it take for you to actually play one of those games again though, Stella? You have so many games that you have to play. No, no we actually still the, the play. The ones that you enjoy? Yeah, I was like, make sure that you put it. It's like, even prototype, make sure you put it right. I need to forward this prototype. So make sure you don't just like chuck everything in the box. Like, right, Miles? Miles. You say yes. Yes, yes. I'll say yes. Can I, can I have a cheerio, please? Please? Give it to mummy. Give cheerio to mummy. Thank oh. you. Oh, oh, it's thick though. Like, it, it almost got there. There you go. You've been holding them for a while. That's yeah. Why. <laughs> Give it to mummy. Give it to Joy. Mama Joy. Uh, oh, this comes with like this big bag. So this must be for this one probably. I, I mean, we can put that one there. And then the card would be in here. Right, Miles. And I heard that Miles has been Ooh. starting to play kids, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so for his first birthday, um, he got given a, like a one-year-old to three-year-old Uno. Yeah. It's like an electronic Uno where you just stick it, um, stick the card in a slot mm -hmm. and it kind of just plays a little bit of music, but you can um, I guess make it a little bit more complex when they get a little bit older. Like, you know, they might say, hey, you know, put the number one in the slot. And so that's pretty fun. He's oh, been really fun. enjoying that. He got that off um, a couple of friends of ours, yeah. which is nice. Yeah, I and mean, that's it's nice of them to give Miles that. I gave some dino pet. Yeah, I mean, that's a game too. <laughs> but that's like a Feeding the dino. Game. That's a great idea. I was like, oh yeah, that's, that's a really great idea. Give Miles early. So, I posted a photo of Miles on Facebook and then somebody recommend, recommended the first Orchid game. Yes. Wow. Yeah, I was like curious. I don't think it's available easily in Australia. So one day hopefully I'll get that and then... That would be amazing. Yeah. And then Miles starting to play games <laughs> and then... Because both you and um, your hubby, Ben, we are play, board gamers. We play board so games. Yeah. Naturally, you want the kids, probably your kid. I say kid for now. Kid, no. <laughs> My, Miles, will, Miles, there will only be a third player in the household. Yes, Miles? Miles. They're going to be spoiled. Are you better than us? We have to zero. <laughs> <laughs> Miles been behaving really good after the incident earlier today. It's not an incident. <laughs> it's not an incident. <laughs> All right, how are we going to do this? These are newspaper tiles. This are there. I feel like these are, oh, sorry, these are article tiles and these are news, um, and these all make. Okay. Okay, so, so these, this goes into here. Yeah. So I also have more bags, obviously. Um, I actually think all the newspaper tiles go together, but. Sorry, Miles. Oh, now this is like lots of white from the punching, but that's normal. What does that mean, Miles? What? Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey, little dude. Hello. What's going on there? There's some bread. Yeah, yeah, there's some bread. Don't eat it though. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna just chuck these here and then. Oh, there you go. Kim off your I don't usually feed him this many Cheerios, <laughs> but I feel like. <laughs> I feel like uh, <laughs> it's, just it's good to distract him. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, he's put in money. Thank you. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Oh, yum, so yum, yum, yum. What about Auntie nice. Stella? Auntie Stella? You might need to open your mouth. He what? He doesn't know. Okay. Huh? 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 No. <laughs> That's okay. Miles. You learn to sh uh, you learn to share one day, one of these days. Thank you. What about Auntie Stella? Stella. Hmm? <laughs> there you go. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 almost there. Almost there. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Good cheerio. 
<laughs> put it back. <laughs> he doesn't know that. So maybe I should probably like put this, put it there. Um, I can put this. Without one reading together. the rules, I think all the newspaper tiles go together. Okay, but mm. Mm. I can combine. I this. think for now you can just okay. combine those two, and then yeah. you yeah. can take out the brown ones, maybe. Yes, because they're big. That's it. But this looks like a very fun game. Thanks for doing the punch out with me. Also, Joy, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I always have lots of games to punch out. Yeah. This is what I do after Gen Con and Essen. At night or before I leave, I always punch out everything, trying to yeah. chuck away all the. Oh, so you, you know, punch things. it out before yes. you get on the plane. Yes. So these games uh, I didn't get from Essen, otherwise, I would have punched out already. Yeah. This. Oh no! It fell. Because it because it adds to the weight, yeah. right? Yes, adds to the weight. So like things like cards, I don't actually even open the package because it doesn't matter. I'm, I don't I don't need to check out the plastic. Yeah. But uh, there you go. It is done. So how many games would you bring back from like on average from a convention? Like thirty. Thirty. So you're Maybe. sitting there at night. Yeah. In yeah. Germany or, or America, or America yeah. and punching out. not enjoying the nightlife, just punching. <laughs> well, that's why from Essen I always book an extra day. So that day would be punching out and then uh, I actually, uh, I usually take the games, like pack it in the box and then take the post office and then some I bring with me. Yeah. So all those work would be the next day, which is on the Monday. And then I go, I'll go home the Tuesday. Yeah. I had to do that. Well, in Gen Con, I feel like I can have more time. I don't know, maybe less games that I bring from Gen Con. I have more limited. I have limited space anyway. But lesson learned, last Essen. I don't know if I told you this. Last Essen, I had two luggages, thinking that I can check in two luggages with me. But they only see in the systems one. Oh. So I had to pay $2,400 dues. 2000 Four hundred dollar reduce to bring my second luggage. No. Or abandon it. So you abandoned it, obviously. No. <laughs> I paid two thousand and four hundred. That's how much I love games. All right. That's Australian dollars. Uh, yes. So that's yeah, roughly yeah. fifteen hundred US dollars. Yeah, I think it was Australian dollars. Yeah. 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 Round round that. Just under two thousand four hundred. Wow. Dollars. That's like a plane ticket. Is that because you forgot to book a second bag or something? No, no, no. I thought I booked it. The call center person says, oh, "Yeah, it's definitely dear. there." I call again and call again. Yep. Like, please put it on the note. Yep. But then the check-in person is like, "Wait, you know how it is." You, you could have just grabbed me and just said, "Hey, Joy, I want a free ticket to um, <laughs> to, to Essen," and, and that's like, that's a flight. That's an international flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was. I'm still disputing it and, until this day. Oh wow. Yeah, and it's like every now and then I would like email it. And <gasps> so what is this? Because this uh this is a uh, one more thing. This is like I booked it through Qantas, and yeah. then it's connecting with Emirates, so they try oh. to blame each other. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm really like I'm really hating that. Anyways, moving on. This is Terraforming Master Dice Game. Mm -hmm. Like, you know how I enjoy Terraforming Do you enjoy Terraforming Mars? I, I enjoy Terraforming Mars. This is a similar size box to Aries, though. Right? I think so, yeah. So yeah. It's yeah. Kind of compact. Like, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Maybe a little bit thicker, maybe not. Yeah. But here it is. So, it's not a lot to punch out. It's just um, some, obviously some dice. Uh, without knowing how it plays again, like look at these dice, they've got customized symbol. I can see that this is actually the resources in yeah. the terraforming arts, like the money, the nature, the technology, or whatever mm. it is that you have. Right, Miles? Just say yes. Thank you. Mm. All right, so we have the cards mm. here. Can and this these are the copper. Oh, yeah, go for it. These we can't destroy. Can't destroy, yeah. Mm. Mm. They'll probably throw it and it will be under the table in like two seconds. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Yeah. All right. And these are the cards. The cover. Uh, let's have a look what the card looks inside. This was actually also sent by the publisher. So thank you for sending us this. Nice. I, I love the I love the, oh, right. the linen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The linen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. I know. It's like so there is something about the components that yes. just make the game just so much more. Like tactile, it's yes. fun. Yes, I think some of my games also use linen uh, finish rule yes. books, which I love. And then there's, this is a cooperation card, I think, and then just the cards. Like, I like to try everything Terraforming Mars because we love Terraforming Mars. Do you love, do you like 
terraforming Mars. If, I don't think I've ever played terraforming Mars with you. Yeah, we always have so many other games yeah. that we play. Yeah, it's it it does take it's, a little bit of time. Yeah, so that is probably our um if you are to artists just like I'm sorry, I promise everyone that we'll do our top ten games of all time. Uh, we haven't yet because we're just so indecisive. <laughs> But Terraforming Mars easy be in the top 10 games of all time for me and Tarrant. It's something yeah. that we would both will play. It would be in our top 10 as well. Yeah? yeah. Oh, so yeah. do you have you played all of the Terraforming Mars bits? Like the uh, Ares, expansions and everything? Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Ares expansion yeah. and everything? Yeah. Okay, good. Good to know. Maybe we should play that then. Maybe we should. Uh, the next question is, have you played uh, Norfa? Yes, we have. Oh, Miles. Miles. A bit loud. Bye, Miles. <laughs> Sorry, Miles. <laughs> Um, how do you feel that Ark Nova? Uh, compared to Terraforming Mars? Right. Yeah. I think Terraforming Mars is still the original winner. <laughs> still. Yeah, yeah. still. Oh, oh. It's kind of like it's got similarities, but I also enjoy Ark Nova. Yeah. Playing on BGA at the moment. Okay, <laughs> good. Um, but it's... It was actually Henry. Henry was like, hey, let's play this. Okay. It's like a two-player game. And at the time, I forgot. I haven't played for a while. I was like, oh, I'm just do it, do it. No, no, I want to I just learn again. So we actually played recently in the board game weekend. There's okay. A, we went to the big weekend in Bendigo. Yes. And that's why I had to pass your Halloween board game. Sorry, Joy. It's OK. Um, I was like, no, everyone's wearing costume. <laughs> Anyways, um, and that's where we play Afnoka with Marine World's expansion. And that was fun. That was fun. So we um, we have a review for you for that, by the way. So yeah, I'm so devastated that I missed it. Like, no, it's no, so it's okay. I always try to make it, but then because we, we went to the Bendigo event, play game, uh, that means we have to do filming on Sunday. So we have to miss it. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. You like the frog? He's seen something that he likes. Oh no. What is it? <laughs> it's not the frog. There's a lot of things here in, in this studio that, are, <laughs> that Miles likes. Anything that lights up, makes noise, mm -hmm. or clicks. Look, look, look. It's not really clicks, but then like the punching noise. Like, like, click, click. Yeah, yeah you can have it. Okay, yeah, this, this game was quite easy to punch. Yeah, and that's it. Well, that's, that's pretty quick. Mm. Oh, there are more cards here. Uh, let's see what's in the What cart. would you have dress? What would you? What is your preferred dress-up costume? Yeah, that's what I was missing as well. One of the things, except obviously meeting you, meeting Mal. You're like, nah, it's just a costume that you <laughs> just missed. Just a costume. <laughs> no, no, I swear. And uh, oh my gosh, you know, um, I've got lots of costume. Yeah, you do. But I might actually pick something that would match with Taryn. Oh, does Taryn enjoy? Um, <laughs> Does Taryn enjoy costumes? You know what? I recently found out. Oh, Does Taryn enjoy costume? costumes? <laughs> he actually don't mind it. He might say uh, at the start when I was about to put zombie makeup on him, like, oh. But then he did. And then he actually um, did a drama class uh, in school. I found out about this actually not long ago. Um, his mum taught me this. So he actually did some drama class. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I'm like, that's surprising. Okay. And it's actually not bad when he started. I just have to give him instruction like, I want you to appear happy or sad or angry or upset. And then he would do it. Tarot has a really good way of doing all of those emotions in the one go. <laughs> oh, Tarot. Tarot's not here, so we can t talk about him. Like, we as much as we please. We love Taryn. That's Taryn. And I, I really <laughs> like that zombie video that you made him, encourage him to do. Welcome to Zombie Mart. Want to keep your hair and brain clean and juicy. This is my favorite shampoo. Keeps you wanting more brain and shoulders. Brain. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's challenges. He likes to challenge himself as well. He he writes Wikipedia. So oh, there's one here. So he's he likes to challenge himself with diff, doing different how to play videos that's like slightly tricky in mechanics and doing something different. That's that's him. And writing Wikipedia, writing like challenge him and oh hang on, I probably don't need to put it here. Challenge him to write better grammar and things like that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, 
I'm not on the same level as Taryn, but I really like, I, I like seeking games that, board games that have like a different mechanic or oh, something that you haven't seen before. Yes. So I think that's themes that you haven't seen before or just something a little bit different. And it's almost like it deserves a space on your shelf because there's no other game similar to it or like it. That's fair because there are so many games. Number two, then you have limited space eventually. Yeah. Although you have a, a big house, I mean a big space, but you want the space for mouths as well, not just board games. <laughs> it's okay, we got, we, we got your space, so we don't okay. need space for one game. <laughs> but yeah, that's understandable, like yeah. you have to pick. Um, do you like economic games? No. Okay, that's a no. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> I mean, this is probably the most uh, economic as it is. Yeah. All right. We played Kutna Hora and I feel like that's quite I remember fun. for one um, one convention, yeah. I, I learned how to play Power Grid. That's pretty... Oh, Miles. Sorry, Miles. That, 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 that's yep. along the similar, grid. On similar yeah. line. So it's not really something... For, it's okay. Well. I mean, not everyone. Not games. All games it's, not, everyone. it's not a game for everyone. But yep. Oh, oh no! What did I jam? That's okay. <laughs> that was my fault. It's one of those I things when, when you're punching out games is that you just got to make sure you've punched everything out and that everything you're throwing out, someone else yeah. double checked. Yes. And then, yes. And then like this as well, I was like, make sure that nothing's... I was very... I'm going to try to be very thorough when I punch out games in Essen. Because you're on your own. <laughs> yeah, because, no, because like, I want to make sure that I don't actually actually check out components. If I'm not sure if I need to check that or not, I'll keep it. I'll bring it. Mm. Oh, that's what that is done. Thank you, Joy. Like, you um, at home probably saw this on the side. Like, Stella, you missed it. Like, not until I patch up the next one that I remember. Okay, that's another mm -hmm. one. So, uh, thank you, Joy, for coming all the way here, by the way. Because, you know, with Miles and with the oh, chair. Oh, no, it's fine. That's all right. After this, we're going to go out. We're going to go um, maybe have lunch. My shout, obviously. Was like in blue. Yes? Possibly. Thank you. You're Thanks all the witness. So possibly means yes. Um, if you uh, don't know by now, I don't take no. <laughs> I'm persistent. You can take Miles and I can go shopping. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Is that Miles? Stella's actually really good with Miles. Yeah, I still need to learn to take care of Miles properly because, you know, there's a lot in fun. I know if you have kids, I'm sure you're like, yep, yep, that's it. I mean, I have nieces, two nieces and nephew. But I don't see them enough because they're in Bali. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That is it. So uh, those two games, we are. It's ready to be played. We will play this soon, sometime. Um, and Miles can be play. Can be. Sorry, Miles can play with us. If you wish, Miles. You wanna roll some dice? <laughs> Just roll the fruit loops. Yay! Uh oh. Uh-oh. Is it, is it starting to get tired? So like He's getting pretty tired. Okay, that's it. That's it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this. Uh, we will be punching out again with Miles, potentially, if, um, and then just talk about everything. Let us know if you, any particular games you want to see here. Mm -hmm. Maybe you recommend any games for Miles to play. I mean, one, uh, one plus, and then before you know it, it'll be like two years old, three, five, 18, mm. and then he'll play with us, and then he'll be doing videos with me and Taryn. <laughs> Pretty much any game where he, you know, can't swallow the components is, is, yeah, is a start. Yeah. I think after three years old, then it's safe, right? Mostly safe. Yeah. Yeah. Mostly. All right. Yeah, let us know. And thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And hopefully you can say hi to Miles as well. Hello, bye. Bye. Miles. Bye. I'll say hello. Bye. bye. Say goodbye now. Bye. Hello and goodbye. Bye. bye. Have a great day, everyone. Thank bye. You. Thank you, Joy bye. and Miles. Bye. Clap, clap, clap. Clap, clap, clap. Do we have like a, a joke? <laughs> Do we have a joke, <laughs> sir? <laughs> I don't know. Do you have a joke? Yeah, yeah. Go, go. Okay. Grab, grab the joke. I don't know. You can just cut From it. your... <laughs> yeah, okay. From, from your book. Ready? What do you call a donkey with three legs? What do you call a donkey with three legs, Miles? A donkey goes, hee-haw. Hee-haw. What do you call a donkey what? with three legs? A wonky. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Joy. You gave me this book, so it's your fault. Clap, 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 clap. What color is the wind? What color is the wind? Whoosh, wind, whoosh. What color is the wind? What color is the wind? What color? What color? Blue. 
spelled B L E W. No. <laughs> Mine was like that one. <laughs> That's it, everyone. Thanks again for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye.